What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. I've been a little busy in between episodes. You might remember last episode I said something about wanting to do some map art for our sign logo outside of our new Illuminate shop. And um, yeah, I've, that's what I've been doing for like the last three days of my life. <laughs> I've been doing some map art and I'll show you what we came up with in a minute. But first I wanna talk about the process I went through. You see, we don't really have a map art district. Now I know Beef is doing a bunch of map art and I didn't wanna go to where he was because I didn't want to end up getting in his way. So I decided what would be smart is if I went to a desert, found a fairly flat section of desert and dug it out. I figured that would be super smart because then I would end up with a bunch of sand and some sandstone and I could probably use that later in the season. So yeah, that's what I've done. I've dug out the 128 by 128 area and I've done a section of map here. Now, this is just one section of the eight sections total that needed to be done in order to form the entire sign because it was like a four by two grid of 128. So 128 times four times two, which is, it's a lot. It's a lot of blocks to place. Well, in our case, I did carpets. I figured that would be easiest. And the way I did it actually was instead of digging out and flattening all eight of these 128 by 128 areas, I did one and then I would just remove what I needed to remove and replace different carpet and that would make the new map and I would just lock them in place and do it over and over and over again eight times. Now, you guys, you guys, a lot of you, a lot of you, more than I ever imagined, put some designs down on Twitter for me to look at. And there was so many good ones. There was, I was just spending a lot of time just perusing through Twitter in awe of how talented so many of you are. So check out all these different ones I had to choose from. And eventually I decided the style I was going for was gonna be pretty simplistic, pretty just clean lines and kind of minimalistic look. And I chose one from Effervescent 06. So once I decided that the design from Effervescent was the one that I wanted to go with, I got in contact with her and commissioned her to be able to use her art here on Hermitcraft. And so I was able to take her design. And unfortunately, when you convert art into maps, um, they get dumbed down just a little bit. So it's not as fancy as she had done, but let's go over here and I'll show you the final design here. There it is. In fact, uh, we, we have to make this. We actually have, this is actually the very last square. We need to make it. So we'll draw it up here and we'll see it come in. You got to walk all the way to the corner. And there we go. I think we got all the pixels. And then what I do is I go over to our, what's this thing called? Cartography table. Yeah, there it is. And take a glass pane. That is what we need to be able to actually lock it. And then once it's locked, no matter what we do to this area right here, it's always going to be stuck in this forever, just like this. So that allowed me to just change that same, I, I wanna call it a chunk, but it's not, it's it's like four by four chunks actually. And if we use a cartography table, we can then make copies as well. So let's just make a few copies of this just so that we have extra and then we will pop it into there to complete the Illuminate picture. How awesome is that? <laughs> so certain things didn't quite gradient the way I wanted them to, like um, Effervescent had this really cool glow that gradient it out and it didn't really work so we had to flatten it out into just these little rays here and even then i wanted just to have like yellow with a little bit of opacity and then when i converted it to a map it made it lime green but that's okay um it, it still looks pretty good i think and i can't figure out there's just this very little line right here and i think it's some sort of like shadow because i didn't dig out the edges all the way down I don't know. I don't know a lot about maps, but we made it work. This is very cool. And now we can take all of these sections and go over to our shop and put it up for display. All right, this is exciting. I finally get to put these outside the shop here. So we will take map number one. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. We have the side. And that's right. We were going to put up two of them. I need to find some more item frames, I think. 
There we go. And now that one's up as well. I gotta say, that's looking pretty good. That definitely adds some flair outside the shop and gives us some character. How cool is that? Meanwhile, there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on around here. Since I've been working on those maps, I leave for three days to make some map art. And I come back and there is stuff popping up everywhere. I'm going to have to do some looking around, but we've got more work to do inside this shop today. Um, I have already tore out the entire first floor and moved it up to the second floor because a lot of you said it doesn't make a lot of sense to let people just come in and have the product all right here for sale and then have the showroom upstairs. Nobody's ever gonna, nobody's gonna go see it ever, right? Because they're not forced to. So instead, we're gonna have the showroom down here, all the cool stuff that you can see and do with lights. And then we go up this fancy honey block elevator, which is a super cool trick that uh, I, think, I think we learned it from um, Cub. I think was using this last season where you can kind of like get inside the hitbox and behind this little corner is a water elevator and because of that you can actually get your body kind of partially in the water elevator and it will lift you up and then we're in this room here where we'll actually have our sails like you guys saw before so gonna do some work in here today gonna make the showroom start to look nice because right now it looks really bad oh and check this out guys when you fall no damage at all. How cool is that? And you guys are probably thinking, oh, it's like a hay bell or, or a slime block or something. No, it's actually powdered snow. Apparently, if you fall onto a carpet on top of powdered snow, you don't take any damage. How cool is that? And I believe that was a trick that um, we learned from Zedif. At least somebody in chat when I was streaming told me that about that. And they said that they saw Zedif do that. So that was pretty smart. So anyway, yeah, this room looks bad now. So we're going to spend a little bit of time in here. And I think I brought us some supplies. We'll make this look a little better. And one live stream later, we have lamps. <laughs> That's right. Spent an entire live stream designing this first floor. And it is fantastic. Basically... I wanted to lay it out as if it was like an actual house and kind of like follow the Ikea style where you have to you have to walk through and like look at different rooms and see all the examples of things you could do with the products that are for sale. And everywhere you look, there are lamp designs, basically, so people can come through and get some ideas, I guess, and then. We're going to sell We're going to need to sell end rods because I found myself falling in love with end rods. I used end rods in almost every one of these, I, I got to admit. But we've got candles, of course, which we're going to need to figure out how to sell those. And then candles on end rods, of course. <laughs> we've got a little lamp right here. This one's perfect because these things actually do look like a lampshade, which is amazing. So this would be like your typical living room. You can see we've got little couch cushions and everything. So you can come chill in here under the chandelier, which is nice. We've got a little dining table here. We've got our kitchen set up right here. So you got your sink. And I guess this would be like little soap dispensers and then the, the faucet and stuff, of course, covered up the collagen there. And then we've got our, uh, uh, what is our stove, basically, oven and the little cooktop and then the little, the hood in there. You guys see, this is like regular kitchen design. It's all about the lights, though. Look at that. Look at that little lantern or chandelier. I guess that's a chandelier hanging from the ceiling. We've even got this little like light strip underneath the cabinets. You guys ever do like the under cabinet light strips? Yeah, how cool is that? Looks great. And then just other little designs, little floor lanterns that you could put in, and then tabletop ones as well. Copper holding candles looks pretty cool if you ask me. Even this little simple one here with the slab on it is looking pretty sweet. Then some things you can do on shelves, of course. Uh, we figured out that amethyst shards, or the clusters anyway, actually give off light. So those are good. And I had this idea. It's a kind of a crazy idea, but it's a gas head. Now, this one's a little odd because typically like this is the part that doesn't give off the light. And this is the part that gives off the light. And we've got it a little bit in reverse. It looks pretty good as long as you don't go on the other side because then it's it, it's a little creepy. So maybe maybe put that against the wall if you're going to do one of those. But yeah, just some different ideas. Oh, also, I'm extremely proud of this design. We designed a dresser. And it's amazing. So we got the barrels, right? And it's got those little stripes. And if you put signs over them, it, it's just perfect. It, the lines are perfect with the signs. And then, of course, these are sitting on top of an item frame with trapdoor that become the handles. And that just looks absolutely fantastic. Doesn't exactly match the uh, the jungle vibe going on, but we tried. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. Our little nightstand tables, which are pistons extended with the light on top. 
everywhere you look there is something to take in and this room is extremely bright now so people are gonna have to walk through all this stuff take a look at all the cool things and then make their way to the back to go upstairs and make their purchases so yeah i like it very so much inspiration on the way to the back i'm wondering though like is this obvious i mean well first of all these signs don't match which is kind of bad but is, this isn't really obvious that this is where you have to go like you come back here and you could read the signs i guess but i'm wondering if maybe we should get those one what are they pink glazed terracotta has arrows on them and then you can kind of come back and have like the arrows pointing up that may look terrible, but it might not. I don't know. Maybe we should get our hands on some pink glazed terracotta and see. Well, turns out it's not pink. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. There's no arrow on that. In fact, it is magenta. There we go. So, yeah, I'm cooking up a little magenta glazed terracotta. I mean, ah, glazed terracotta, it would be great to find a way to use these in the game. But um, I'm not sure this is going to look good. We'll give it a go, though. All right, now the fun part, trying to figure out what direction to place these in in order for it to point the way we want it to go. No, not down. We want it to point up. And maybe, in fact, what we want it to do is actually show them they need to press into the corner. So maybe in and then up as well. I don't know how to make this. Okay, yeah, so there's in. How do we go... Up. I think I haven't tried this. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we want it to point in and then you'll go up and is that look I mean It doesn't look Super terrible. Maybe we should put it on both sides here, but then I don't it doesn't actually say that the beacons are on sale up there Okay, so that's the wrong direction. We want to face it in this way. There we go. Perfect and now what did I do to, to make that work? I can't even remember. Was it like that? No! <laughs> I hate placing these things. How about that? There we go. We got it. That's not half bad. It tells the story. You need to tuck into this corner and you will go up, right? Arrows are very, very good at explaining things. I love this elevator. And I suppose we can fit the signs up above it now. All right. I've given it some thought and I think these actually are helpful. So we're going to leave them and I'm going to go ahead and make these signs a little more readable because, yeah, any text on Spruce doesn't really look too good. But also, this is a little confusing. So we're just going to cover that up so that people don't get confused. And I guess that means I have to move these guys because they're a bit in the way at the moment. But yeah, that will definitely help. All right. I have to turn these heads backwards, which makes it pretty hard to place. So I'm going to have to break some blocks out. And one there and there and perfect. All right. We'll close this back up. And I think that is going to do it for the first floor. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We've definitely got quite a few lamp designs. In fact, if I wanted to squeeze in a few more, I probably could on the walls and stuff. Look at that. That's just that's just begging for some kind of lantern hanging from it. I don't even know how that ended up there. I think it's still left over from the stairs we tore out. But anyway, I think it's looking pretty good. Nice and bright in here. And now I'm definitely motivated to make sure that we can actually sell a whole bunch of these things because... Yeah, I think once people see all the different ways that they could use lamps, they're going to be wanting to buy all this stuff. So, yeah, definitely got a farm in our future for sure. Or maybe a few. All right, so back in the spawn area, and I think we quickly need to address something here. We had our diamond pillar. We had our emerald pillar. Our emerald pillar was rejected, as you guys probably know by now. And our diamond pillar was behind this goofy face, and it's no longer here. And that is because I actually met up with XB and Cub, who were also doing diamond pillars, and we had an agreement formed. I'm going to be honest here. I feel a little left out. I see we got we got the beard twins here. Yep, yep. We're manly men. That's right. That's right. He, he, you paid Look me handsomely for that beard, didn't oh, you? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. So, so if you want one, I mean, I'm willing to make a deal with you. You know, I don't just give them away these days. Okay. What's the deal? What's the deal? What do you got? What do you got? I'm, I'm in a generous mood. What do, you, what do you got on you? Empty your pockets. What do you got? What I got on me? I got an empty bucket, okay. a couple of night vision potions, Ooh, and okay. a spyglass. Oh, okay. Wait. You got a deal. With the spyglass? You got a deal? That's, yeah. I mean, 
Spyglasses are pretty neat. This might be the first time I've actually used one this season. <laughs> Put this on here. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that's, very looking, fancy. that's looking great. <laughs> man, oh man. Okay. That's looking great. Almost as great as my uh, my diamond tower over there with the silly face. I don't know where the face came from, but... Uh, I, I may or may not have had something to do with <laughs> you. <laughs> that was you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But dude, you're not the only one who's had uh, some diamond towers, diamond diamond block towers, I should yeah. say. I got a I got a diamond block tower right yeah. behind you there. Tucked behind this guy oh, over yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yours yeah. is uh, yeah. very impressive. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't see it. It was being blocked by that ugly ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. XP, you got a tower too, man. You got a tower on your squid. I, I did, but then I took it down because I was honestly just gonna put it somewhere better. So. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, I, I mean, wanted to like. You know, we got a flex. You know. Yeah, exactly, dude. I was thinking, what if you know, since we're since we have the diamond blocks, mm -hmm. what if we combined our forces together, right, into one with, giant mega tower? Ah, uh, with our powers combined. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, no one would hold a we candle if captain. we had all three together. <laughs> now, I I definitely like that because I I couldn't compete with with either one of you, it turns out. So, um, <laughs> you know, I'm of the opinion of if you can't beat them, join them. So that that works for me. It'd be interesting to see, like, if we took all of our diamond blocks, which are way better than diamond ore, of course, and oh, put, yeah. like, oh, how yeah. high, high up do you think we go? I don't know if we'd hit, like, build height just yet, but we'd be up there. Oh, we'd be up there for sure. We'd be up there in the clouds, man. I yeah. mean, there's only one way to find out. Well, gentlemen, we can see the sun and the moon from here. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, quite the world height, but my goodness. <laughs> we're pretty Ooh. close, though. Like, if we look over at Pearls, she started at the top working her way down. I mean, that's uh, it's not too far off. Like, it's a couple three diamonds. We, we right? could, we yeah, could. I, would, I would say clearly in the lead at this point, wouldn't you guys say? Obviously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With oh, yeah. uh, sheer Look, diamond total, there. for sure. With, with his cheaty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheaty diamonds over there. But even those, I mean, di the, the ores, like if you forged them, what mm -hmm. do you get, like three to four somewhere in there, right? Yeah. About, yeah. yeah. We're a solid nine per block, so. Right. Yeah, we've got more diamonds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Rocking. We need a name. Yeah. D diamond block bros. Um. Uh. The diamond beard. Oh, beard. The diamond beard block bros. <laughs> <laughs> diamond beard block bros. That's it. Something diamond like beard that. block bros. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Oh, man. All right. This nice. is amazing. We're going to have to keep adding to this. And like, like people are getting fancy with theirs. So maybe we could do some fancy stuff too. All right. All the way to the top we go. We got a pack. To the moon. We're going to win this We're thing. It. We're going to win this gonna fake it. competition that we just made up. <laughs> So if we if we make it to the top, are we just gonna take everybody's, or is that is that how this is gonna work? Well, we've made the statement now. It, it, if we happen to lose, oh, we're willing to throw in our there. diamonds. Maybe they'll have the same sentiment, and it just will happen. <laughs> we'll mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. We got we got to have our our custom slogan, right? We got to we got to huddle up, and then we got to jump off backwards, saying okay. "Diamond Block Bros that, away." Diamond Block Bros, bearded bros away. There it is, bearded bros. <laughs> We don't that even time. know our own name. No, we'll get one. Don't worry, we'll, right, we'll have right. it happen. Ready? Three, two, one. Diamond, Diamond bros, beard and bros, and bros, and bros, and and bros. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And not long after we built up our diamond pillar, yeah, it got smashed by a gigantic anvil. <laughs> A diamond ore anvil smashing down upon our diamond pile, bringing it back down to, um, I guess, lower than a few other pillars that are happening around here. So, yeah, this is absolutely getting out of control. We're going to have to do something about this. We can't just let this stand. They can't be dropping anvils on our diamonds. We need to retaliate somehow. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll, we'll get that going soon. But I think I think I should probably take down this emerald pillar. Because, yeah, it was rejected and now it's just kind of, yeah, it's kind of here and ugly. So let's go ahead and whoop, 
Take it down. All right, that looks much better. And I suppose we can put this for sale. We got a bunch of emeralds back out of that ordeal, of course. And we'll just pop them right back in the shop and yeah, see if we can make some diamonds off them. In fact, I haven't been in here a while. Oh, I have made some diamonds. Excellent, we might as well collect. There we go. And I wonder if I should just take these and just go pop them right on top of the diamond pillar there, the, the, the diamond beard bros or whatever we decided to call ourselves. We'll we'll keep adding to that. We'll keep helping our diamond brothers out. But um, with that big anvil smashing down on it, I'm not really sure how to go about that. So I might as well wait and see what we want to do. So while I'm thinking of how to retaliate on that whole ordeal, I think I'm going to head back over to our dwarven keep because you guys have been leaving a lot of comments. There was something missing at the front gate that you seem like a lot of you anyway really we're hoping to see and i want to go over there and we're going to make a decision do we want to add something to the keep entrance and um a lot going on <laughs> there's a lot going on around here look at oh my gosh somebody's been busy things are happening i think this is mumbo's vault amazing so yeah we'll just fly over there i decided to fly instead of taking portals for once just to uh maybe give you guys an idea of where things are at but if we continue to go in this direction heading east we should run right into our dwarven keep here very shortly uh-huh, starting to see things come into focus, and it looks like there may be some exclusive previews on top of the mountain, so I'm going to heads down here just in case, <laughs> just in case you guys haven't seen that, and I'm spoiling somebody's video, mm -hmm. we'll, be, uh, we'll be sure not to do that, and um, yeah, looking at this, one thing you guys said when I built this entrance was, it would be really cool if you had some statues like a lot of times the the dwarves they will build statues of themselves outside is kind of like the protectors of the keep and looking at this it does actually feel like something's missing like we could put we have room we could fit a couple statues in so i think i'm gonna do it i think yeah decision made we're gonna add some statues to the entrance <laughs> Statues are now done. <laughs> I think they look fantastic. It was quite the challenge, I will admit, to try to get a decent looking statue because typically when you do statues like this, you would want to have a much bigger space to do it in. And uh, I didn't want them being, you know, bigger than the front gate, of course. So yeah, we uh, <laughs> that's what we came up with. So I did also have to use like the light gray blocks instead of stone. I, I really tried to make it work with stone, but it was just blending into the surroundings too much. So I think with the light grays that we used, the wools, the concrete powders, and some tuft that actually brought in some of the, the, the more, I don't know, beige color into it. And it helps it pop out a little bit from the mountain itself. So I think we look good. This guy's got our, uh, you know, our, our ax here. And then this one over here, I tried to do like a, like a Warhammer type thing. I could probably add a little bit more detail into these. I might tweak them in the future, but I think this is perfect. We now have our, I, I'm going to call them Guardians of the Empire standing outside our main entrance here. You know, just to, it definitely has the dwarven feel now. If it didn't before, having statues is definitely a sign that, uh, 
the dwarves live here. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. We we actually did quite a lot as the sun goes down here. We we got maps done, eight of them that took me forever. I got the inside of the showroom done at Illuminate. It's looking really good. And next episode, maybe we can start to uh, get some more products in there to sell. But we spent a lot of time doing that. And I think it's fantastic. It was that Ikea vibe of shopping. And then we made a deal with the, um what were we called? The Diamond Bro Bearded Bro, Diamond Block Bearded Bros. Diamond Block Bearded Bros. Nailed it. First try. That, yeah, we made the deal with them. And it's going to be fun to see what comes out of that. And then we've got our statues in. And the sun goes down. We're actually going to see this at night. Ooh, that makes me want to figure out a way to get in some lighting here maybe make the mouth and eyes glow a little bit that could be kind of cool i'll have to figure that out but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go and with that said i'll see you again next time have a good one everyone